Hello. Welcome to this uh, video. Today is Thursday, the 8th of June, 2023. To be honest, <laughs> I have not really prepared anything, but I just felt like talking about uh, something. And you can notice that these days I like talking about uh, my own experiences in life. And uh, I hope, wow, whose child is that? I hope uh, somebody will one day come across the video and learn something. Hmm. Wow, this life of mine <clears throat> has not. is so thankful to God. To God. Because. There are many things that I will always say God has done for me. But, hey, this is serious. These are the neighbors. <laughs> I don't know if somebody's here. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Well, I just wanted uh, to share something about... Uh, anything currently i am totally disconnected i'm living in isolation and um, i i think i made the choice because i wanted to be myself but circumstances as well have forced me to remain on my own and uh, that is when I realized that uh, today I understand much better because I realized that I don't have anyone I can rely on except maybe, except God alone. I don't have anybody I can attach myself on or to count on except God and I thank everybody who contributed in shaping me like this because before I see how I was so dependent so dependent so follow follow following anything following everything I even made mistakes because of following so fearful I even made mistakes because of fear I wish I was like this back then. It is really hard to convince me or to, to drag me out of my belief, out of my position into another position like it used to be. Before I could give up on, on something that is really very expensive, very, very important just to follow people but now i've learned a little bit about values i've learned a little bit about uh, responsibilities and um, yeah i've learned about responsibilities and as time has gone 20 years ago i could i could i could be crazy but right now I see how our generation, people started dying, like uh, <laughs> nearly five years ago, people started really dying and I'm thinking about uh, the future now. But before, before, there was no really future, it was just I want this, I want that, I want that. And uh, it is unfortunate that These are not things that should have taken all these years for me to learn. I didn't need to learn all these things in many years. But when they tell you and you are not ready to listen, 
you are not ready to to understand so it will take years for you to understand life will teach you and uh, I see how many people are like that when you tell them now out of your experience or out of uh, they seem not to most I don't know how to say put put it in most people don't believe anyway it is life each one should have their own experience or their own testimony or story but something that is anyway I wasted time for things that didn't need me to waste time because I didn't have ears to listen or I didn't have understanding because I need to understand first before I agree and sometimes even if I understand I I used to have this spirit of being ashamed of accepting things by shame to please eh? this spirit of pleasing people you can make a big choice of your life just to please people thank god i didn't make big choices but i've lost things that i didn't even need to to, to, to make those choices i don't know if i am a, talking to somebody normally as i'm talking like this i am still connected with my youth my 20s so someone in that age usually when i was 20 these are now maybe 15 years old or 16 that can make such mistakes i don't know anyway this is how god made us and uh, sometimes it's not there's no need of wasting time just to understand that you shouldn't uh, lie you shouldn't fake you shouldn't uh, listen to people or you shouldn't uh, pretend or you shouldn't those things you don't need to waste life eh? time so much time to learn all those basic basic things it is just a matter of listening and understanding uh, because I personally am a believer in Jesus Christ. I can maybe I can relate this because you know uh, it is said that God is saying that you will have ears but you will not listen or you will not hear. You will have eyes but you will not see. When I look in the past, I see how I saw things happening in front of my eyes that I did not see. I did not see because I did not react the way I can react now if the same thing, if I find myself in the same situation. I don't need to think twice. I will just give my answer i will just give, take a decision that is contrary to the one i took years ago because now i have knowledge so god is saying you will you will have ears but you will not listen many young people have been given advices don't go with these people don't mix with these ones don't follow this eh? follow people who have the same interest in with you eh? some people don't like you some people are always making fun of your the things that are very important to you these are not friends these are not people you should hang with because they don't work for your interest if you are interested in these kind of things, they are not interested in this. You shouldn't hang with those people. You should be able to understand that I must go with people who have the same interest. Who are interest to have the same interest means to have to be interested in the same things or people. 
people who are interested in the same kind of things that interest you who are, tr are attracted by the things that attract you these are the kind of people you should go with you should mix with so that you can develop your interests you can discover more about your interests and that is like your talent they have the talent the same talent as you and you can develop them personally i came to understand that god was saying it because people will not listen to the advices that are being given to them or they will not follow react the way they should they are, the way suppose they are supposed to react when they see a situation or they face a situation they will not react uh, some of them like pearl pepper for example myself it's because of lack of knowledge in those days for example i regret today but why did i even respect some people i was respected today they have put me in a situation that they are not even there I don't even know them. If I meet them, I will not even recognize them. But I was listening to them and I found myself into something that has changed my life totally. Why did I even listen to them? Why did I even... And I realized this is how many people are. Just because we are in the same group, uh, in the same, uh, I don't know, maybe church, maybe uh, family or maybe, I don't know, friendship or area. You go and listen to them to do this and at the end you end up you see as i am here today if i find myself in that same situation i will not listen to some people eh? they were nothing to me they were even my enemies but i was listening because i didn't know they taught me respect all the adults respect all the people you don't know that some people that come towards your way have an agenda they see you they know you they don't like you but they will not show you that is the problem that is the hypocrisy i hate some people will not show you that they don't like you like me i got seriously disappointed because i was putting people inside my heart you see i was so and I got seriously disappointed. And thank God, I didn't damage myself. And uh, today, it is not easy to enter my heart. It is not easy. It's not anybody that can enter in my heart again and make me do certain things. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but... I don't even know if it is relevant now because now with technology uh, there are many things that are there we are losing a lot of values a eh? lot of values with technology and uh, that it like me I live in isolation I'm just surrounded by, by my technology I go on this website I chat there I speak there I so I don't really need people anymore so these are the advices or the lessons I should have maybe taught or learned myself back then when it was those days. But I, I, since then, we don't progress in the same pace or speed. Some people are still back there. I hope they will understand. <sighs> so... This verse of you will have eyes to see, eh? but you will not see. You will have ears, but you will not hear. It's showing that we will just have, there will be a disconnection between, between the ears and the process of hearing or understanding there will be a disconnection between the eyes and the process of seeing and even in another place 
uh, passage of the Bible, Jesus is saying that uh, though let those who have ears hear what the Spirit is saying. So <laughs> it, it is even a great, um, a great blessing to have ears because Jesus, God said you will have ears, but you will not hear. You will have eyes, but you will not see. Jesus is even saying that let those who have ears because there are people who don't even have those ears eh? he didn't talk much about eyes but those who have ears they will not even eh? if you go through jesus and you still have your ears then you can hear what the spirit is saying i don't know how many people listen to what the spirit is saying I don't know why I am. Yes, you see, I don't know if it is the right message I should share, but <sighs> Father God, I should have prayed before. Father God, I pray that the Holy Spirit guide me because I am really touching, touching, and I'm not saying anything really, really uh, sensible. Please help me speak your word. As I've decided to make this video, it is so sunny. I feel good. Yeah, the weather is so good. I like sitting here and enjoying the sun. So, you will have ears, but you will not hear. Let us break that down. God Himself is saying, according to the, the way you see how people will progress at that time when god was speaking they will listen they will obey if the prophet comes they will listen to the prophet and they will obey but there is a time coming the way you people are behaving or making choices in your lives there will be a time where you will have ears but you will not hear or listen and you will have eyes, but you will not see. Which means that from that time that word was spoken, they were already showing signs that they were taking the direction to go where in a position where they will have eyes and they will not see, they will have ears and they will not hear. They were taking, putting, the way they were putting themselves or they were behaving or they were doing was showing that it was just a matter of time. After some time, they will not even be able to listen, to obey, eh, to hear, to listen to what God is saying. Because they will just have ears, but they will not be able to listen. They will have eyes, but they will not be able to see if we have to break this down as well hmm. how can you have eyes and you are not able to see how can you have yes you are not able to hear if you have eyes it's it somehow suggests that those eyes are functioning unless they are not functioning they are blind if you have ears, that means your ears are functioning. But if you are unable to see, unable to hear, that means you are slain by blindness and deafness. Or, eh, and deafness. So, blindness and deafness, though they are diseases, eh, they are diseases. But they, here we are talking about spiritually, eh, eh, spiritually. I mean, we are talking spiritually. Though these are two form of physical diseases, but spiritually, you will have e eyes. That means you will see, but you will not understand. You will have ears. You will hear, but you will not understand. So there will be something that will damage the understanding. Because if you have understanding, that is where you can take, make the right decision. 
And for people to lack understanding, we see in the Proverbs and how God is showing that eh, obeying his commandment, delighting in his word, meditating his word gives us understanding and wisdom. If you obey, so people will not be listening. It is the word of God that gives understanding and wisdom. So if people are not able to understand, that means they don't really relate with the word of God. They don't go into the word of God for them to understand that this situation is like the word of God says this for them to understand. So there will be lack of the word of God. But <laughs> Don't worry, people will be filling those churches or synagogues or uh, what do you call it? People will be filling those uh, religious temples. Yet, they will have eyes without seeing, ears without hearing or listening. Personally, I started by saying that years ago let's say 20 years ago i saw situations i saw things happening but at that time i could not even imagine i could not even guess that the way i was seeing that situation is not that way because it is only after many years that i came to understand that it was wrong and the decision I took back then was the wrong decision because I saw it in an angle. And if you see 20 years ago, all these years, though I was praying, I wasn't in the word of God like I've become now. I wasn't connected to the word of God the way I am now. You see that the lack of the word of God is causing blindness is causing deafness many people see religion as just religion i relate to religion to everything in my life that's why i don't belong really really to anything religion is in my finances religion is in my health religion is in my uh, education religion is in my everyday life everyday life because now everything i do i just get the passage oh it is written so 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 it is written so 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 oh this one happened and i get understanding and i see how those people in the scriptures made choice or like in the proverb you see how god is advising you to choose like this and now i can make uh let's say informed choices or decisions now that i can make right decision nothing is coming my way nothing is coming my way because i am ready if it comes i would block it and but when i was ignorant that's when <laughs> Things were coming my way. So you see that the enemy, if you have to look at it deeply, the enemy is watching. He knows that for him to get you, to make you make a mistake, to get you out of your way, it is in your time of ignorance. And if you are not even in your time of ignorance, he will do everything to take you in a ground where you are ignorant. And he will exploit that ignorance to make you make mistakes. To make you make mistake, a big such usually big mistakes. So to have eyes, it's not just the physical eyes. It is the spiritual eyes. When you have eyes, you can see. Because physically, our eyes help us to see our surroundings, to, 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 to look at 
our surrounding and to relate with our environment to communicate with environment to position ourselves in our environment to locate ourselves to direct ourselves in our environment and the ears are also helping mainly in the direction it directs us because you with the ears you can understand that uh, uh, left to right this that and many other things so if physically to see and to hear help us position ourselves and uh, to to be safe and to live safely in our environment that means spiritually our eyes help us to live in a spiritual environment our ears also help, help us live in a spiritual environment when you don't have eyes and you walk you can easily you don't see the boundary be, be, between the hmm, between uh, the the street and the pedestrian path that is why you see blind people they have a stick to and they teach them how to to recognize the difference because you need to make that difference where to fall the same way spiritually you need to understand how to go how to walk whether left whether right whether forward or backward but naturally physically we walk forward and god also likes us to go forward spiritually so these eyes spiritual eyes and spiritual ears help us to move according to God will and in the spiritual environment because in the spiritual just like uh, in the physical environment there are many dangers there are many things that can affect you if you don't have eyes blind people blind people are at risk of are more at risk of having an accident than those who can see those who don't have ears are more at risk of misunderstanding than those who can understand eh? that those who have ears you see so physically you can see where you are and you can understand because you are, you can understand when how what through the ears So spiritually the spiritual eyes also help us to locate ourselves in a spiritual environment if you have spiritual eyes you go somewhere you know mm, this is not the right place you just look at somebody mm, this is not the person for me this is not the type of person I should relate with or when you hear what somebody is saying is, mm, this is not the type of conversation I can relate with this is not the type of uh, people I can chat with or I can fellowship with they, they are not spiritually on my eh? they are not on my spiritual path or you know they, they, they can have bad impact on my spiritual work you see mostly in the bible people like david david solomon they were materially uh, blessed god blessed them with uh, everything materially but they still found a place to worship god to listen to him to worship him to sing for him to create a psalm for him to to to, to Eh? compose psalms so they still had the spiritual connection with him many people compared to how you were before you feel a bit comfortable 
you are now considering the spirituality as something that shouldn't really really matter because you feel that david had made some more things than you if they put the convert david in this generation he had cars he had land he was a king of a land a whole country he was a king but despite all this material he had clothes he had people he had all these relations but despite all those material things he was finding time to talk to god to fellowship with god to make to do work for god he wasn't saying now that i am here like this i am a king oh those things they are those things they are saying is no are no longer valid or are no longer do, do no longer concern me no in contrary more god has blessed him he has gone deeper into god some people since you have traveled since you have uh, married since you have uh, had a i don't know some elevation you don't even feel like praying like before you don't even feel like uh, meditating you don't even feel like doing many things i know that many people as i said when god said you will have ears and eyes people will fill those churches or those synagogues or whatever temples I know that you go to, to your temple or synagogue or church every <laughs> the day the, your day of church or synagogue. Uh, it's not about going to church or going. It's about you having a fellowship relationship with that God, talking to God and Him talking to you, giving you instructions, and you also converting, doing what is instructed. So this is what came up to me as a message. I thank God for everything I just said. I will have to do the French version and I think uh, I will have more to say. But I've said the essential. May God pray bless anyone that has come across this video and uh, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.